Okay, Oscar De La Hoya responded and gave an excuse on why he did not show up for the press conference. I'm going to let you listen to what Oscar De La Hoya said now. What he said is entirely different than what Bernard Hopkins said and what he originally said. Okay, but I want you guys to listen and I'm going to speak briefly on his response as to why he left Ryan Garcia alone at the post conference. Listen to what he says. First of all, congratulations to uh, Gervonta Davis. You you fought a hell of a fight. Uh, my hats off to you. You had a great game plan. Beautiful body shot, Ryan Garcia. Uh, we are proud of you. The world is proud of you. You made this fight happen. You wanted this fight. And uh, I'm sure a lot of fighters will learn from you that uh, you're daring to be great. But I do want to clarify why Bernard Hopkins and I weren't uh, at the post-fight press conference. First of all, Bernard Hopkins was accused during the weigh-in of having testosterone cream on his hands and touching Gervonta Davis when he only wanted to help him because he was going to fall off the off the stage. So Wait a minute. So if that was the reason why he touched him, why didn't he just get his promoter's attention and say, look, man, hey, you might want to have them step back because they're about to fall off the stage. But he didn't do that. He reached his hand in and touched his lower back. He didn't say anything about, yo, man, I'm just trying to help you because you are about to fall off the stage. That's a lie. So, um, PBC, Gervonta's promoter, banned them from everything. He couldn't get inside the ring. He couldn't do anything during the promotion. And so, um, as for myself, my security team told me, Boss, we got to get the fuck out of here because I received death threats. You guys don't know this. I received death threats throughout the whole week, and they just said it was simply too dangerous, so we got out of there. And so, so wait a minute. So wait a minute. Help me understand this. You have a security team that you're paying to protect you, and here it is. Your security team is saying, yo, man, we got to get out of here because you're getting death threats. You mean to tell me that a professional boxer, a fighter, someone that knows how to throw fists with a security team, that's scared. See, now I understand why you were wearing fishnets. I understand now why you dress in drag. But why would you be afraid when you are a professional fighter? And you have security. And not just your security, but there's security all around Vegas. So how could you be so scared that you would leave Ryan Garcia alone on that stage? And if there's threats, if you're saying that you were getting threats all week, you mean to tell me you weren't trying to protect your fighter as well? Now, some people may say, well, Ryan didn't get the threats. It was De La Hoya, but De La Hoya is a professional fighter that have security. So I think you're lying, bro. That don't make sense to me. Plus, Eric Gomez, who is my president, who was right there front and center with Ryan Garcia. So there was no issue, no problems. Uh, this is all coming from all these PBC minions uh, that are just attacking Ryan, attacking Golden Boy. But it's all good. It's all good. Ryan Garcia made this happen. Tank made this happen. We had a great fight. The best man won. My hat's off to you. And uh, again, Tank Davis, you're a great fighter. Ryan Garcia, I have your back. Bernard has your back. We're with you a thousand percent. And you will be back stronger than ever. Better than ever. Guaranteed. Thank you. That's a lie. Okay. That's a lie. You can't believe anything Oscar De La Hoya says. 
Right now, he's just trying to save face. Okay. So he ran and he left this fighter on stage to deal with these alleged threats that he said he got now. But now Hopkins gave a different reason on why they didn't come back. He was saying that they just didn't want a bunch of confusion, you know. He didn't say nothing about being kicked out. He didn't say nothing about threats or anything of that nature, right? So these are lies, man. So it don't make sense. See, so I don't know. This picture now makes a lot of sense, makes a whole lot of sense as to why you are so afraid of your alleged threats when you have security. And not only that, you're a former boxer. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure that you dealt with that in the past. In your history of fighting, you mean to tell me you never received any type of threats? To the point where you had to just, just desert, just leave your fighter alone at a press conference by himself with no support at all. So that's De La Hoya. Feedback and tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.